guys before getting into the definition of strain energy i have a question for you why this happens all of us have done this uh, we are applying a force we have done this we have applied a force like this and we have released it okay when you release it what happens this is a stainless steel scale and when you release it what happens it will regain its position okay we have done this and have you ever thought that how this happens let me explain for you okay so first of all this is a nil position nothing is there and now we have we are applying a force like this and we can feel that when you go deep and deep we have to we have to give more force like this and we are applying the force and and um, at the end position that is at the maximum stretching level we can feel that we we have to oh, hold it very tightly okay so something is there oh, we can feel that if you release it it will go back so something is there that something is called energy and to move anything or to move or to do work we need energy okay so when you remove it this will go go back and with the energy stored okay that energy is stored is called strain energy okay how this energy okay let me show you so how this energy is getting into the scale now it is not having any energy when you apply a force and gradually it is applying and at the it, it has deformed up to this and something is stored that something stored is called strain energy and when you release it it will get released the strain energy is released and it will move with the strain energy okay to regain its position okay so this is the concept of strain energy now we will mathematically analyze, analyze what is strain energy and how it is useful for the uh, uh, engineering problems okay this is the definition of strain energy the strain energy of a body is defined as the internal work done we have done the experiment of the scale and the internal work done is the when you applied a force something you you felt something inside your body okay the same way something is felt inside the scale that is the internal work done in deforming the body by the action of by the action of external force that is uh, we have applied the force that force that is the external force externally applied for so it is the strain energy and due to that strain energy the scale is retained its position okay so mathematically you have this is a body it has, it has an arbitrary shape and you have n number of force so uh, for the remove see f1 f f2 f3 likewise the forces when you apply the forces gradually as we have done in the in case example of scale the body will get deformed okay this body uh, let's say this is the arbitrary shape this body will get reformed and we have done some work in moving the body to the second shape okay that is the internal work done so that total internal work done will be stored will be stored as the energy inside the body and this when you remove that force when we remove the force from the scale it can its retained position okay so when you remove this this will get retained position uh, it will return to its original position and that energy by which it is retaining its original position is called strain energy okay if it is in the elastic limit if it is in the elastic limit then we call it as elastic strain energy okay so uh, in the engineering analysis we generally use the strain energy as elastic strain energy okay 
for example to analyze mathematically we can find out what is strain energy in a member due to tension let's take this is our member um, it is fixed here and this is our member okay this is uh, with the area area is equal to a modulus of elasticity modulus of elasticity is equal to e and it is applied by a force p it is the tensile force what what happens by the application of this force it will get elongated let's say this is the elongated shape hmm, okay so this is delta elongation and how this elongation happens is very important how this elongation happens it is let us take a graph which shows the elongation and the force it is zero zero this is the elongation delta and this is the force okay now uh, you are applying the force first you apply zero force then gradually you are increasing the force to p gradually increasing the force to one two three up to p and at the p position and gradually when you are applying the force at p uh, the corresponding deflection delta small delta will be the capital delta so this is delta okay so what is the energy what is energy in so the total energy stored what is the energy stored is equal to the the area of p delta diagram area of p delta diagram will give you the total energy stored what is that area of p delta diagram the energy stored energy is equal to half that is this is a triangle half into p into delta okay but what is the value of delta delta v know that delta for a tensile member with force p is equal to p into force into length divided by area into e area into e so apply this delta in energy equation the energy is equal to energy is equal to half into half into p into delta pl by a e this is p square l by 2 a e so this is the equation of strain energy this energy is completely stored inside the body if it is in the elastic limit okay so this energy is completely stored and when you remove that force it will go back to its original position by this energy okay let's study another one uh, term here that is in strain energy density strain energy density is strain energy in unit volume so this is the strain energy density okay so in this case we have strain energy in unit volume that is per volume into volume of the body into volume of the body in this what is volume of the body here it is say uh, having an area of a and length of l so this is the total volume okay strain energy in unit volume into total volume will give you the total strain energy that is p square l by 2 into a into e okay now you can remove or cancel out this l and here l also and when a comes to here it will become this is equal to this is equal to strain energy in unit volume strain energy in unit volume energy 
per volume that old vol strain energy density strain energy density is equal to p square divided by when 8 comes to here p square divided by 2 into a square into e p square divided by a square into e okay but we know that p square by a square is the what is the value p by a whole square okay what is p by a p by a is the stress p by a is the stress so strain energy density strain energy density is equal to sigma square that is p by all divided by 2 e for a uni axial stress for a uni axial stress because it is applied by a force p in one direction and there is no forces in the other directions okay so this is the simple strain energy in mathematical terms that is strain energy per unit volume for axially loaded member for a uniaxial load is taken as sigma square by 2e or total energy is taken as p square l by 2 into ae okay so friends i hope that you understood the concept and if you uh, like the video please share so that others can also uh, do uh, see the tutorials okay so in the next videos we will uh, come with what are the types of strain energy and how to calculate for shear and bulk volume okay so please subscribe the channel for more videos and support the channel thank you